This video will walk you through how to create subclasses within your Alex program. You will not be able to create a subclass within Alex until after you have a primary class created. For manual rostering districts, follow the steps on how to create an Alex class in the Alex class management and create and roster class resources below. For auto roster districts, the district creates and rosters primary classes for you. Subclasses are not managed by the district, only primary classes. Once your primary class has been created, click on the Alex icon or class name on the My Programs page to launch into the program. From the class dropdown at the top of the page, select the primary class you want to create the subclass for. Hover over Class Administration at the top and select New Class from the menu. You will then have a choice to create a new class or to copy an existing class. First, we will go over making a new class. On the New Class page, the instructor, class name, grade, and class dates will be the same as the primary class that was selected. Enter a period section name for the subclass if desired. From the Alex Course Product dropdown, select the course you would like to cover for the subclass. The standard selection auto-populates and will vary based on the location in which your account is associated. Click the View Correlation link to the right to download the standards correlation PDF. If you would like to allow access to a certain textbook for the students to use while going through their Alex program, check the box next to Integrate Textbook, then select the desired textbook from the drop-down menu. Click the Next button to move to the Class Options page. Under the Incoming Students section, select the radio button next to an option for the students that are moving between a primary or another subclass to the new subclass. The default option selected is that the student's progress will follow them from their previous class to their new class. You can then check the box next to if you would like the module grades to be calculated based on their previous class progress and if you would like them to complete a comprehensive knowledge check. The comprehensive knowledge check will be around 25 questions that will assess students on all the material in the class. If you choose to have them complete the comprehensive knowledge check, you then want to choose if you want all students associated with this subclass to take it or only those that have not completed an initial knowledge check for a certain number of days. The other option would be for the progress to not carry over from their previous class and have them take a new initial knowledge check to determine where they are within the program. Under the Unenrolled Student section, select the radio button next if you want to be able to see unenrolled students in the class roster or not. The default is selected to hide them from the roster, reports, and gradebook. For course placement check, select the radio button next if you want to include or not include the placement check. The course placement check helps instructors determine the appropriate course product for each student. For the quick table section, mark the radio button next if you would like to include them or leave them disabled. Alex Quick Tables is a research-based math fact mastery program for multiplication division, addition, and subtraction for grades three and up. For the course specific settings, click on the Show Accessibility Options link to review the accommodation options for students with vision loss. Select the radio button and check boxes for the appropriate options for the subclass. Click the Hide Accessibility Options link to collapse the options. Check the box if you would like your students to have access to a graphing calculator. Checking this box makes additional topics that require the use of a graphing calculator available. If this setting is unchecked, topics that require graphic calculators will be removed from the class. Click the Create Class button to create the new subclass. The new subclass can then be found listed under the class drop-down at the top of the page. Now let's go over how to create a subclass by copying an existing class. On the New Class page from under Class Administration, click on the Copy Existing Class button. If you are wanting to copy the class settings from one of your own classes, you can click on either option listed. If you are wanting to copy a class from a teacher that is associated with the same school, the best option is to click the Copy a Class from this school. If you do not see the class listed that you want to copy that belongs to another teacher, this may mean that they have the class settings set to private. They will need to set the class settings to public for it to be listed. For steps on how to set the class settings to public, refer to the Alex Class Duplication Settings resource below. You also have the option to enter the class code of the class you want to copy. Enter the class code that you want the subclass to be copied from. The class code is found in the top right of the Alex page of the class and will vary for each class within Alex. Click the Continue button after selecting class or entering the class code. 
The class name that you are copying, the instructor, and the institution the class is associated with will be located at the top. If you would like to copy a different class instead of the one listed, click the Change Class link. The instructor, class name, grade, class dates, and Alex course product will be automatically loaded based off of the class being copied. Enter a period section name for the subclass if desired. In the Copy Settings section, check or uncheck the settings, assignments, pacing goals, and resources you would like to copy over from the other class. If an option is grayed out, this means that the class you are copying does not have anything set for those selections. Click the Copy Class button to save the subclass. The new subclass can then be found listed under the class dropdown at the top of the page. This concludes our look at creating a subclass for your Alex program. Be sure to look at the other available help materials for more information about using your Alex program.